Hey class, good day. I hope you're doing well today. So, I am your student teacher for the subject writing in the discipline. So, my name is Angel Marie Alpas. You can call me Miss Angel or Teacher Angel or you can call me also Angel. I am an education student currently doing an on-the-job training and it's my pleasure to be your student teacher i hope we get along especially in our classes so without a further ado let's have our discussion for today so welcome in our online learning chapter three writing in the discipline prepared by yours truly so Let's start to our discussion for today. What is a paragraph? So a paragraph is a sentence or a group of sentences developing a single idea or unit of thought. A sentence is also a unit of thought, but while a sentence expresses an idea, a paragraph develops an idea. So Although it is possible to have one paragraph functioning as a whole composition, an exhaustive composition usually has several logically organized paragraphs. So explaining or giving details to support the controlling idea or thesis of the composition. So I guess you know already about paragraph in your past years. So this is just a small recap. So now, I have here pictures. So as you can see in the screen, is it a sandwich, right? So, it's a girl writing. So in writing, in writing a paragraph, it is just like making a sandwich. Why I say so? Because in making a sandwich, you have your bread, lettuce, tomato, dressing, and bread that makes up a sandwich. While you cannot make a paragraph without its steps in writing. So, writing a paragraph is one communication activity which can prove very exciting and fulfilling for a student to whom any educational undertaking is always most welcome task and i think you were also um writing a paragraph but i guess you uh, never know about the steps about it so let us know about that further so here is the steps in writing a paragraph so first we have Picture point. So, picture point means this means figuring out very well what you want to drive home to your reader or listener and lay it down. So, what are the, uh, what do you want to, what do you want your reader to know about your paragraph? So we have here example of a point. Market day was usually a bargain day sale in Santa Barbara. So it is an example of a point. So usually a point, uh, you can see this in, uh, you can see this in first sentence of the paragraph. And then second, we have support your point. So in making a paragraph, we know that we have to make also a supporting sentences. So that what you call a supporting sentences. So we have here examples of supporting sentences. All prime commodities get sold at relatively low prices. The same was true with the prices of luxury items. Generally, Customers is able to buy every items cheaper by as much as 25%. So these 
So, these supporting sentences was supporting our uh, our point, which is uh, the market day, uh, usually a bargain day sale in Santa Barbara, as we have in the first steps of writing a while ago. Next, we have write your paragraph in style. So, we have to write our paragraph also in style. So, we have an example. Market day was usually a bargain sale day in Santa Barbara. Rice, fish, meat, vegetables, sugar, and oil get sold at relatively low prices. The same was true with the prices of trinkets, sandbags, fans, headbands, ribbons, and flowers. Generally, customers is able to buy every items cheaper by as much as 25 percent so that is an example of writing your paragraph in style so why is it important to write our paragraph in style so to do this you should need to use effective word and expressions thus the need to use action words specific names coloring words radiant or glowing expressions and other languages devices every time needed and possible so as you can see in our example it has um the needed words so next is okay in styling the general expression old prime commodities was reduced into specifics la, um, for example rice fish meat vegetables sugar and oil while luxury items likewise general term is reduced to specific trinkets handbags fans headbands ribbons and flowers if further desired above specifics can still be reduced so that rice may be fish milk fish meat may be beef vegetables could be eggplants and so forth so next we have here we have here fourth which is make it grammatically correct so why is it important to make our paragraph grammatically correct so this means that you guard your paragraph against grammatical errors or weed it out of grammatical flaws so let's have an example so the example is here the example is the example of a third paragraph so can you spot the grammatical errors here so we have here get is our item so let's go back to number three example in styling so here gets and then it becomes get when you grammatically correct it and then also in items because it uses the word every so every is singular so we have to use item okay so this is the grammatically correct paragraph Market day is usually a bargain sale day in Santa Barbara. Rice, fish, meat, vegetables, sugar, and oil get sold at relatively low prices. The same is true with the prices of trinkets, handbags, fans, headbands, ribbons, and flowers. So generally, customers are able to buy every item cheaper by as much as 25%. So that's the end of our lesson one. I want you to study well and see you soon. God bless you.